What is up guys? Welcome back to Lamp Vision Studios. Today I have another Unreal Engine 5.1 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite tools in this system. Today we're going to be talking about the modeling tab. And with the modeling tab we have one of my favorite tools. We have the cube grid tool. All right, so let's get started. Let's just make something simple. You can do this on your island map or any map for that matter. You can make a new level if you want to. If you don't remember how to do that, just go to File, New Level, um, and just make one. But we're going to do this on the island map. If you don't have an island created from my previous tutorials, don't worry about it. You can still learn from this tutorial. So let's try this out, and let's go up to the Modeling tab. All right, once you went to your modeling tab, you'll see that there are tons of different things that you can do with this, tons of different tools that you can use to create different objects for your game. So I'm just going to show you a couple of basics here. If you click on the shape box, then of course you're going to get a cube and it's going to look just like a box. And if you look to the left here in these options, you can adjust this box to however you want with the width, depth, and height. So pretty easy to adjust there. So what I'm actually going to do is show you some tricks with a couple of these other shapes. So let's go ahead and drag a sphere in as well. And we can adjust the radius here in the left as well. Let me back up so you can see it here. And we can adjust the radius of this sphere as well. So if you want to make some balls or beach balls around your map, there you go. Pretty simple. So whenever you want to save these different shapes, make sure you just hit accept. Let's try a cylinder. And if you place it down, you can adjust its radius as well. You can also adjust the height of it. And one of my favorite things about this tool is that you're actually able to adjust other things as well, like the radial slice. So if you want to adjust this radial slices, it will actually unsubdivide this polygon into different shapes. So if you wanted a hexagon or octagon, or if you wanted a complete circle, uh, whatever you want to make with that, you can do that. Also, when you're using these shapes, you can use the gizmo tool just like normal. I know it looks a little bit different, but you can still use it the same way. See, I can rotate it there. I can move it back and forth and up and down. So you can pretty much manipulate it in any way that you want. You can do the same thing with a cone. So if I make a cone... I'll adjust the radius and I can change the radial slices and now you'll see I can actually get a pyramid so we'll change it to four angle so I think it's cutting it off by the angles here so we have four different angles on the outside or four different corners there so if we wanted six then of course we could have a six-sided cone there not sure what that's called but if we set it to four, you'll see we have a pyramid. So I'm going to adjust the radius a little bit more and the height a little bit more. And you'll see that'd be an easy way to make a pyramid. So the rest of the tools, I'll let you go over yourself. Um, I will go over stairs here, but Taurus is pretty much just like a torus, like in Blender, and you can adjust it however you want. You can make rings if you want. You can make inflatables. Uh, pretty much what you want to make out of those. You can also adjust the slices as well and bring those down and make different shapes with that as well. For arrow, it would just be an arrow. And of course you can adjust this arrow however you want. If you wanted the shaft to be smaller and the arrow to be longer. Or you can adjust the head height, make it sharper. And of course adjust the radial slices if you wanted to make it sharper as well. 
And we have rectangle. And rectangle and stuff like this, I would honestly probably only really use for pictures or something that I'm putting on the wall. Or maybe a platform, but there's not a whole lot that I would use these for. Same with the discs. But as you can see, it's just a disc circle here. Now, if you haven't made a box already, go ahead and do so because I'm going to show you how to use the stairs. Now, these stairs will actually work with most characters that you put in your game. It will even work with the AI as long as you have a nav mesh. So, as you can see, the stairs are pretty short, so we're going to go ahead and put them down. So, press it down. And we're going to rotate it to where it's towards the wall. And now we're going to try to figure out how many steps we need to equal how tall this is. We're going to type in something like 12. And of course, that's way too short. And if you can't see your whole staircase, go ahead and pull it out. Let's go ahead and pull it out a little bit more and let's set it to something like 16. I think we're one stair off, so we'll go ahead and set it to 17. Now this is just how you get it nice and precise. So we can pull it towards the box here. And it seems that we may be one stair short. It's always better to have one extra stair than one stair that you don't have. Because you can always hide it with the ground. So we're going to go ahead and set it to 18. And then we're just going to pull it down. Just try to get it to match the best you can. If you can't get it perfect, that's okay for now. So if I hit play now, or hit, make sure you hit accept, but you don't have to. You can just hit play. But if you, if you hit cancel, you will lose everything that you've been building. So you want to make sure that you're hitting accept. So you see, I can walk up the stairs here and walk down the stairs pretty easily. Now, what if you wanted to make these stairs wider or longer? Well, you can actually adjust those settings as well. So let's go ahead and create another staircase. And let's just look at the settings that we can adjust here. We can adjust the step width. Of course, the number of stairs the step height so if you wanted your stairs to be taller and your step depth so if you wanted your stairs to be longer you have step depth most of the time I keep them pretty close to this and just adjust the number of stairs to keep it precise to make sure that everything is working with these stairs once you get into step height and step width it can mess with your AI a little bit as far as being able to walk up the stairs. So just keep that in mind. Let's just go ahead and hit accept and that'll be all. All right, guys, now you know how to add stairs to your project. We're going to go ahead and try to use this cube grid tool. Again, it's one of my favorite tools in Unreal Engine is absolutely awesome. We're going to talk about the cube grid tool today and we'll talk about some other modeling tools in later tutorials. But this modeling tool is probably the best one for beginners because you'll be able to create large scale maps pretty fast and a lot of assets for buildings pretty fast as well. So let's go ahead and start a new level. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's just going to be easier for you guys to see. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I would suggest making your assets on a blank level so you can see them clearly and you know how they're going to look and you can easily put them in whatever project uh, that you want to put them in. Go to file and start a new level. Uh, we'll do basic. doesn't really matter which one you choose as long as a flat ground because we'll be building assets on this level. So we're going to go to file and save current level as and we'll save it as modeling. All right, let's go to the cube grid tool. You'll just go to the selection mode, go to modeling tab, go to cube grid. 
And as you can see, we'll get these highlighted squares on the ground. And if I hold my mouse down, you can actually drag and select multiple squares at the same time. So if I was to pull this using this action here, it would pull it up one block. Okay, so we're just going to make a little cabin style building and it doesn't have to be too big, just something really simple to get these tools in. So I will show you guys. Now, if you want to make a building, you can go to blocks per step. Normally it's set at one. So when you click it, it's just going to go up one block. But if I hit control Z undo and I go to blocks per step and set it to something like five and then I hit pull again, it's going to go up five blocks. So if I set it to 10, it'll go up 10 blocks from whatever point that you're trying to do it in. So if I do something like this, something like this. You can create multiple buildings pretty fast if you know how to texture them. Let's make the blocks per step 10 and just pull it one time. So now we have 10 blocks. Set this back to 1. We're going to go to the top here and we're just going to cut this out really fast. So just push down on this section here and you see I'm leaving the edges out and that will be the walls. So if you go all the way down and then down one more, it will be even with the floor. So now if I come to the outside, I can just cut open these doors here. And now I have a door. But for this, I want to add a porch to it. So I'm actually going to make this floor a little bit taller. So we're going to go back in here and we can actually edit this and just make it one or two more taller if we want. And I'm going to make it two taller. And then I'm just going to make a door at two and then you'll see your floor should be even with your door. And now we want to make a ramp that goes up to the door. So let's make a platform here for the porch. And I think I want to make the ramp on the side. So let's pull that out to where the ramp will be. And then we're just going to highlight where you think the ramp will come up to. And you'll go to corner mode. And with corner mode, we'll be able to edit these corners. So we're going to select this corner by clicking on it. Select this corner by clicking on it. And then we're just going to use the Q button to push down. You can see we make a ramp. So we just hit accept and press play. So now you see we have a building with a ramp. We can actually walk into. What's cool about these objects is they already have collision installed. So what if I wanted to make a roof? There's a big hole here, so we need to get rid of that. Make sure that your cube grid that you're already working on is selected. So make sure that this is selected so we can work on it again. Go back to modeling and cube grid. So we're going to add some windows so we can have some sunlight. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just training you how to use the tools. So let's make a roof. So you can make tons of different kinds of roofs with this corner mode. It just depends on how your roof, how you want your roof to be. So I'm actually going to add a little bit to the edge of this here. So the roof can come over the edge a little bit. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to select it kind of like this. And then I'm going to push it down and push it back up. 
and then I'm just going to fill in those extra sides here and then once I'm done if you want to clean this up you can always take this push it down and push it back up just like that so now we have this sort of tower type thing or building it's not perfect it's kind of like minecrafty which like I said in the later tutorials I will show you guys how to make this stuff more detailed all right so I want a pointy style roof so we're going to make a corner out of these four squares here and we'll make them all come up to a point so we'll just select this section here and if to do something like this this will have to be an even square so if you don't have an even square your roof you might have to try something else with your roof or a different style of roof but with this one we're going to go ahead and go to corner mode and we're going to select this corner and we're going to make it go up one two three four five five times and we're going to do that with every single one with the inside corner All right, as you can see, we have our roof. We have a small little building that's already starting out. We just use the cube grid tool. And that's how you pretty much use the basic aspect of the cube grid tool and a little bit of the modeling tab. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for the love I've had on my previous tutorials. I hope they have helped somebody out. I know that I've had a lot of problems with myself struggling with Unreal Engine, so I hope some of these things have helped you guys out. On the next tutorial, we'll be doing a more advanced tutorial on this cube grid tool where I'll be showing you guys some more advanced features to help you get more detailed models out of this cube grid tool, as well as we will also be adding materials and textures to these buildings to make them look a little bit more realistic. Anyways, I hope to see you guys on the next video. I'll see you guys next time.